Ghislaine Maxwell, the former girlfriend of the late American financier and convicted paedophile Jeffrey Epstein, has been refused bail after pleading not guilty to charges that she helped him to abuse underage girls. The judge in New York agreed with prosecutors who argued that the 58-year-old should remain in custody because she was likely to flee the United States. Our correspondent, Neda Torfik, is in New York for us now. Neda. Well, the moment the judge read out her decision, Ghislaine Maxwell hung her head, visibly trying to absorb the news. And a few times, she used her finger to wipe under her eye. She had hoped she could be released to a luxury hotel in New York to wait out the trial. But ultimately, a judge said there were no set of conditions that could ensure she would not flee. The risk simply too great. After a life of luxury, this is now Ghislaine Maxwell's stone-cold reality. Denied bail, imprisoned in solitary confinement, and heavily guarded here at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, with her trial at least a year away. Jeffrey Epstein's alleged co-conspirator appeared remotely in court from a small white room and pleaded not guilty. Stripped of her power and privilege in a brown prison top with her hair tied back, she sat mostly expressionless during the more than two-hour hearing. Her lawyer said she was not Jeffrey Epstein and had been unfairly portrayed as a monster by endless media spin. But prosecutors successfully argued that she was an extreme flight risk and was skilled at living and hiding. They say she bought her property in New Hampshire under the alias Janet Marshall to conceal her identity. When FBI agents raided the estate, she ignored orders and locked herself in another room. Annie Farmer, one of Maxwell's accusers in the indictment, phoned into the remote hearing and implored the judge to hold her detained. She said Maxwell was a sexual predator who groomed and abused her and never showed remorse for her heinous crimes. I, I don't think this is something that's going to be over with this year. David Boys represents 12 Epstein accusers, including that's, that's Annie Farmer. He says he's handed over evidence to prosecutors, which could implicate others if introduced during the trial. Prince Andrew is clearly somebody who is... Uh, going to come under even more scrutiny now than he did before. It, there's too much evidence of their connection, both independent of Epstein and with Epstein. Prince Andrew has denied having sex with underage girls or being aware of Epstein's crimes. This saga has been filled with twists, turns, and disturbing revelations. Ghislaine Maxwell's impending trial has the potential to be even more explosive. Netta Taufik, BBC News, New York.